much for even that kid. I'm just talking about people from other with who, for thought, in therapy. Southwestern Connecticut's local growers, cooks, and eaters met at Fairfield Ward High School today for the first ever Food for Thought Expo. New South Connecticut's Mark Lepowski was among them and joined us in the newsroom with one chef's recipe for success. Mark? Charlene, if you thought eating healthy, natural food means giving up some of your favorite dishes, think again. There are plenty of people right here in Southwestern Connecticut who say all it takes is a little creativity and thought. Can't get any better than a uh, wood fired pizza. At first, it looks like a normal pizza shop. Olive oil, butternut squash, ricotta cheese, and um, sage. But take a step back and you'll realize it's not just his portable pizza oven that makes Jeff Rosky stand out, but the unusual ingredients he uses to top his pies. Most of the toppings are local, I'd say. Nearly everything Brodsky puts on his pizzas, from the purple Adirondack potatoes to the flour in the dough. It's hard to get hey. local flour, but it's just local. You know, we just came out the flour, um, which is regional, I guess. It's all natural and comes from as close to home as he can get it. Uh, what a great way to use these more local ingredients. And there are dozens of others here with that very idea. We've got everything from soup to nuts, literally. From expert gardeners teaching how to grow the perfect tomato to the homemade honey made by Connecticut bees, Amy Hall says you don't have to sacrifice convenience to eat well. And to get started, all it takes is a small step. We want people to go home with a bouquet of kale, a bag of quinoa, some red lentils. And if you couldn't make it to today's expo, but want to learn more about either Jeff Rothke's pizza movement or the Food for Thought event, just visit our website, news12.com. In the newsroom, Marco Papsky, News 12 Connect.